Hey, all I'm going to say is the protege of Errol Spence Jr. with some controversy this past weekend. But before we get into that, we're all takes, no whiffs. I'm Christian. That's Alex. And Frank Martin, Frank the Ghost Martin, honestly didn't lose too much stock in my opinion, but very iffy performance this past weekend. Yeah, this was honestly a really iffy performance from Frank Martin. I was not expecting this at all, but you kind of got to give credit to Artem. That's what I'm going to call him. I cannot say his last name very well, <laughs> but this dude really brought it to him, and he brought it from round one. I mean, he was the aggressor in this fight, I feel like, and he brought it from, like I said, round one. And this dude was a, actually a bronze medalist bronze medalist in the Olympics in 2016, which I didn't realize. And if I would have looked at that before the fight, I probably honestly would have given a little more stock to Arden for this fight because if you get a medal in the Olympics, you're probably pretty good. And this guy showed that he is a capable boxer. And, mm -hmm. and to be honest, when you looked at Frank Martin in this fight, it's kind of like he only fought for half the fight. He didn't really come out strong. He kind of looked like he didn't, I wouldn't say take rounds off, but he just looked like he wasn't throwing a lot. So, I mean... It was just really weird because Frank Martin usually is not like this at all, and it was it was just really a weird performance from him. Yeah, uh, honestly, he looked good, I guess, when he was active, but it's just like you said, took too much time off, and I don't know if it was just a bad night. I would like to give him the benefit of that doubt, but when you're trying to rate, make your way up in a division filled with this many people, I don't know if you had much room for that. So. Honestly, the way I see it is Frank Martin takes a small step back, but at the same time, I, I still trust in his ability. Uh, like he's a very capable boxer. I, I could definitely look at the last three or four rounds. Him. Exactly. And uh, as far as how I started the video with uh, calling him Errol Spence's protege, just wanted to make a little joke uh, considering what's in a couple of weeks. Team Bud. But, uh, yeah, uh, honestly, Frank Martin, I, I, I'm just going to give him the benefit of the doubt, I guess. I, I, I think Artem, it's a mix of Artem being really quality, like you said. When you're a bronze medalist in boxing, at the very least, your technical ability is solid because getting to that level, no joke. But Frank Martin, definitely, if he was able to just, you know, double his output for the fight, he, he could have cooked Artem, to be honest with you. Or if he would have fought like he did in rounds 10 through 12. I mean, he had a lot of output then, and he looked like his normal self in those rounds too. So mm -hmm. not really sure what was going on. Don't know if there is something going on with Frank Martin that we don't know of. But I will say that in the 12th round right there, towards like the end of the fight, I want to say there was like 45 or 30 seconds left in the fight when Artem went down. It, it was kind of just a weird knockdown. It kind of looked like Artem was just getting overwhelmed and just – went down so he could catch his breath or something or, or mm -hmm. not get bombarded and the ref uh, stops it. But I just thought that was really weird and it kind of made it not a unanimous decision or made it not a majority decision, made it a unanimous decision with the 114-113. But um, I'm hoping, honestly, Frank Martin has a little better performance in his next fight. So, Christian, who would you like to see him fight next? Dang. So I since I think he takes a bit of a step back, I would love to see him catch somebody on the way up. Give him Andy Cruz. I want to see that. I want to see that. Andy Cruz just made his pro debut, but he's a very experienced fighter. Either that or, like, I don't want to throw him against a top guy. Like, I don't want to say, like, somebody like Tank. That'd be, I feel like that'd be crazy after that performance he just had. Ryan Garcia. Ryan Garcia is at 140. He's going up though. to 140 now. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's a. All right, I'm just going to either say Andy Cruz or Keyshawn Davis because, like, Keyshawn's on his way up. He's got this fight that he needs to situate, and if things go as expected this weekend coming up, Keyshawn does what he has to do. Frank Martin, I think, could be a good name. Big, that's a, It's a big fight, low-key as big of a fight as you could get with no titles involved. So there's options because it's 135, but Frank needs to prove himself. That's all I got to say. Yeah, I don't know about Andy Cruz yet. That dude's only got one professional fight. Frank Martin's got about 18 in now, I think. So I don't know about that. But uh, to be honest, I would, wouldn't would mind seeing him maybe face the winner of the fight we're going to be previewing this week in George Cambosis Jr. and Maxi Hughes. I think that that would be a pretty solid matchup. Uh, George Cambosis is kind of back on the uh, come up after his two losses against Devin Haney. And Maxi Hughes is just... Trying to get uh, back, not, I want to say try and get to get back into it. He does have five losses, but he has been on a very good win streak the past five or six years. So 
I think uh, either of those guys would be a solid matchup for him. Yeah, that those would be a good couple of names, uh, the winner of that fight. I, honestly, Frank Martin has options at 135, but at the same time, he definitely needs to prove himself. Also, though, on this undercard, Elvis Rodriguez made an appearance and had a really solid performance stopping Victor Postal in the seventh round. Not saying Elvis is back on track yet, but, you know, he's, he's definitely uh, doing what he has to do. It's a step in the process, and I'm glad to see that. Oh, yeah, I really liked what I saw from Elvis this weekend, a better performance definitely than against Kenneth Sims Jr. I know he's had a few fights since then, but uh, definitely has looked a lot better since then. And I'll be looking forward to covering him a little bit more, too. And if y'all are looking for more boxing previews or recaps or even some baseball stuff around Major League Baseball, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also, make sure you hit that like button, too, if you enjoyed this video, because we appreciate all and any support. Oh, without a doubt. And also, let us know your thoughts in the comments down below what you guys want to see next for Frank Martin. And honestly, let us know what you thought of his performance too, because definitely a lot of takeaways from it, in my opinion. So uh, let us know your thoughts in the comments down below, but looking forward to what's next for Frank Martin. Until then though, peace. Peace.